I was super nervous and I was sweating profusely and uh, it was scary because it's like presenting your baby to the world. So our baby to the world and it's nice that it was embraced, you know, but I was so nervous. I was overwhelmed that people really embraced it even more than I ever thought. The story is the, the first date of Barack and Michelle Obama back in 1989, south side of Chicago. And it, it, it really only focuses on that one day and it traces them from the time Barack picks Michelle up in the early afternoon uh, until they part ways for the, uh, for the evening. I didn't have any qualms about making it because the approach was always to focus only on that moment in time and, and, and to, to, to bring that to life as authentically as possible, to tell a love story as realistically as possible. When I was writing it, when I was working with the actors, these, these guys, to, to, they're crafting their performances, we, we ignored everything after 1989. At the time in 1989, they didn't know that they were gonna be where they are right now. They knew they wanted to do more. It was nerve, it's nerve wracking because you want them to love it because it's their story. But it's just, it comes from, so much love and it comes from, it's such a modest, sweet, beautiful story. I mean, hopefully they'll embrace it. Rich would say, Rich would say, all right, so page 48 through 62, I'm like, yeah, he goes, that's one shot. Just know yeah. everything. So once you got into the work, the pressure was more just like, well, I just gotta get through today and yeah. get through the scene and make sure it's truthful. The challenge of the, the script itself, I think alleviated the challenge of like the, the wider, yeah. who you're playing thing. No, My process was, to get the impersonation down, like a full-on impersonation. And every morning before I got into, before we got into the car, uh, in the mirror, I would do classic, uh, there's no blue America, there's no red America. I would do the, the voice just to get like a very strong Obama impersonation. And then once I got on set, let go of that, and the residue was still there. And I think we made it a point when Rich and I decided to do the project, we did not want to do impersonations. We wanted to do embody their essence, you know, of who they are. Yeah, I mean, the, the reason that Tika's Michelle and Parker's Barack is because they, as individuals already, they possess a lot of qualities that the president and the first lady have, a lot of traits. So it was really more about them bringing themselves to the characters. Chemistry is not something that can be created. You know, we, 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 we put them in a room together for the first time, put a camera on them, and it was the, the sparks flew on, on screen. It was evident that they had that special chemistry that you just can't, you can't concoct. Now you turn the cameras off, it's oh, another yeah. story. Get out, get out of here. Okay, get away from me, shut up. <laughs> no. But on screen, it, it works. <laughs>